Okay, we're going to continue looking at work done by a constant force. And just as a reminder, the definition of work is the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of phi, where phi is the smaller angle between the force vector and the displacement vector when they're placed so that their tails coincide. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a box. Here's the box. Okay, and we want to push the box. So here's a person with very long arms pushing the box. And we're gonna push the box from here over to there. Okay, so that would be the displacement. And let's assume that we push parallel to the ground here so that the applied force is in this direction. So that's our FA, that would be applied force. And we wanna figure out how much work does this person do in pushing the box from here to there? Well, we need to know a few things, like maybe the mass of the box. So let's say that, let's say it's a box full of, I don't know, how about snow globes? And the box full of snow globes weighs, well, let's see, snow globes probably weigh about 60 kilograms. Sounds right. And then the applied force, when we're pushing this box full of snow globes, let's say that's 100 newtons, okay? And we'll assume that we're pushing it, uh, how about 30 meters, right? Got to push those snow globes from here all the way over to there. Okay, so now let's figure out the angle. So that's always the hardest part here, figuring out what is that angle? Well, I can pick up my applied force and put it back down so that the tails coincide. And if I do that, well, I think the applied force actually will land right on top of the displacement vector. So there's my displacement vector, and then the smaller one is my applied force vector, and so the angle between them is zero. Okay, sounds good. Now let's calculate the work. So the work done by the applied force, I'll put a little subscript A there to denote that we're talking about the work done by this particular force right there. That's equal to the force, which in this case is the applied force, uh, times the displacement, and again, we we'll want the magnitudes of each of these, times the cosine of the angle. And the angle in this case, we said was zero degrees. So let's plug all this in. Okay, so this would be 100 newtons, and then D is 30 meters, and we said that the angle was zero degrees, and if you type all this into a calculator, you get something that's about 3,000 joules. Okay, that sounds good. Now let's change the problem a little bit. Let's say that maybe we tie a rope to this box of snow globes. So that now we're still moving at the same distance here, except now our box of snow globes has a rope attached to it, and we can pull that rope. So let's make this angle right here, um, I don't know, let's say make it 40 degrees, how about that? Okay, so then my person here, uh, who I won't attempt to draw here, but Let's just say that they're pulling this rope at a 40 degree angle and they're going to pull the box of snow globes that same distance of 30 meters from here to there. And I want to figure out now how much work do they do. Okay, well, now the displacement vector looks like this. Okay, so that's D for displacement vector. And my force vector, well now we're pulling up at an angle. So the force vector is at an angle like this. So that's my applied force. And this angle right here, which is phi in the definition of work, is now 40 degrees. Okay, so the work done by the applied force is the applied force, magnitude of the applied force, times the magnitude of the displacement, times the cosine of the angle between the applied force and the displacement when they're placed so that their tails coincide. Okay, let's plug in. This is still 100 newtons. This is still 30 meters. Except now our angle has changed. Our angle is 40 degrees. And if you calculate this, it ends up being, oh, about, if you round, about 2,300 joules. So you can see now that the work has changed. It takes less work now that we change the angle. 
And so when you're calculating work, the angle makes a difference. You really got to pay attention to what that angle is. It really will make a difference in the problem.